I am now going to show you how to apply your foundation. There's actually two different ways that um, a lot of our beauty guides um, use. You can use your blenderful uh, sponge the, or just a plain sponge or with the blunt brush. I'll show you both. I'll do half with the brush and half with the, um, with the blenderful. I like them both. They both give me some really good coverage. I'll first um, prep my skin with first base. Our um, primer is just a mist. It goes over so nice. I've already um, prepped my skin with my face wash, my moisturizer and everything. So just do a spritz over the face with this. And I'll just rub it in. So this side, I'll use with the sponge. So you'll want to get the sponge a little bit wet. Not like soaking wet, but wet. And for this side, I'll use my fingers to place the foundation around my skin. I use for my redness in my face I'll use concealer number one just a little spots it's got like a green tint to it to help take away that redness I got a little, well, my skin is definitely not perfect okay like I said we got our wet sponge here and then I'm just gonna blend Blend it all in. You don't want to wipe. If you wipe, you take off the makeup. Let's see if I can get you to see. So if you wipe, you can see right there, the makeup is coming off. So you just make sure you you blend, so you tap. So this is a good one if you don't mind getting your fingers a little bit dirty to place the makeup on your face. It's still good coverage. So with the brush side, I'll just get my two, I don't have them in a palette together, so I'll just put them together. I'll just put, take my brush and just go right into the makeup, then I'll add the concealer. I think it's just, just as well coverage as the blenderful. Just better if you don't like getting your makeup or your hands in your makeup. If I'm in a big hurry, I will usually do the blender full. If I have a little bit more time, I'll use the brush. Sorry, my lighting is not very good. It's kind of cloudy overcast today, and my light is just making me look orange.
Okay. Now I will take my um, concealer brush, and I usually just use the foundation itself to help cover up those lovely imperfections in my zits. And I'm one that my face will not get covered completely. And I don't care. Just as long as I look good. Our foundation is um, wax based. So it warms up and it spreads better if you've warmed it up on your face a little bit. So the brush does that. But if the blender full, your, fa uh, your fingers and your hands do that gets it easier to spread around and stuff. See what I'm doing here? I'm just putting in a lighter concealer in the corner of my eye, just in the corner, not my whole bottom lid or anything or under my eye. I put it right there and I just to give me so I look more awake. This is concealer zero that I'm using on my under eye to help give me that somewhat awake look. Okay, so there is the foundation and concealer. I really don't know how well I did just because I, like I said, I, I did them both. I probably missed some spots on my face because I was trying to show. a little bit better here. Make sure my whole face is covered. Like I said, I've got those lovely little spots right here under my eye and then under my lip or over my under, on top of my lip. Looks awesome. <laughs> Okay, there is foundation. Next, I will show you blush.